On 24th January 2023, President Shoei Kaguta Museveni launched the drilling of oil wells at Kingfisher Oil Field in Buhuka, Chikuwe District, starting with Well Pad 2. Out of the about 400 oil wells expected to be drilled in the development and commercial production of Uganda's oil and gas resources. Ernest Rwondo, the executive director of the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, recently led a team from the authority on a monitoring and supervision visit to the oil wells. The contractor, China National Offshore Oil Corporation, said that the 60.5 meter Kingfisher oil rig has so far drilled 2,890 meters deep out of 5,000 meters expected to be drilled on well pad 2. The plan is to produce to start production of oil in 2025. What the companies that have been licensed to produce the oil are doing now, they have started drilling the wells that will produce the oil. Uh, this is the first deep well, production well, that the company is drilling. Rwondo urged the local people to find ways in which they can tap into the developments put in place to make money and improve their livelihoods. But uh, the food that is available in the region is being bought in the region, uh, both for the Kilenga project and also for the Kingfisher project. Uh, the people who are affected by the project were also told how to grow higher quality food, and many of those are bringing food to the camp here, which is served to the people who are working on the drilling rig. We would all like to see more food being bought from the region, but there are limitations in the volumes of food available, in the quality of food available. But that's not a big handicap because it's being worked on. But certainly the people in the Munero region are supplying quite a lot of things to the oil and, oil and gas activities. He said that the Petroleum Authority and other agencies of government are doing all it takes to ensure that local residents in the oil area are empowered and their capacities built in order to have them benefit from the oil and gas. The companies that are cooking the food in the camps are also encouraged to make sure that they go and buy the food from the farmers. And uh, they have done this tremendously. We have uh, company, uh, farmers in Chikube, in Hoima, in Urisa. This food is being bought by the companies which are cooking in the, in the, in the camps. So as Petroleum Authority of Uganda, we regulate that national content aspect. And we are ensuring that it's happening and it is happening. The objective is to have about 40%. Rwondo urged Ugandans not to overlook the developments happening now in the oil region and instead wait to take interest after oil production begins. The most important thing is that there is a lot of activity happening between now and 2025 and uh, the Ugandans need to participate in that activity by supplying goods and services, by participating in the employment, by building their skills. So before we focus on what happens when the oil comes out of the ground, let's not overlook what's happening before the oil comes out of the ground. It's a lot of value uh, and Ugandans are participating in this value. Many locals have expressed happiness that oil activities have transformed Buhuka landing site in terms of business and the population has also increased. Here the business I can say now it is booming. Uh, here we have people who are doing business. They are doing business between uh, DRC and Uganda. Most of these people who are doing business of produce. They are taking produce from Uganda to uh, DRC. Uh, produce, for example, you have uh, the beans, the, uh, uh, the maize. Vita Smogesi also noted that cross-border trade between Uganda and neighboring DR Congo is booming due to oil developments. The revenue collection is going on well. As government, we are charging loading and offloading here. When these uh, boats, loads, uh, when these boats load uh, the produce here and the other goods, we charge them what we call loading fee. Uganda expects to have its first commercial quantities of oil off the ground in 2025 as commercial oil production begins and there will be drilling for three to four years alongside the development of other infrastructure.